All right, guys, I totally forgot to say. Make sure you stay tuned till the end where I share our Aldi special buy that I found today. Alright guys, so we are just going to jump in down here, went ahead and got our septic safe toilet paper, the bottle of ranch because we always need this, we had, we were running a little bit low. Um, we also got some of these cheeses, we like these for snacks or um, for sandwiches or wraps, so we got three different types of those cheeses. Um, everybody kind of likes to pick their own as they go here. Um, we also got some of this heritage cheddar that Aldi had on the special buy. We've never tried this before, but it looked really, really good. So we're excited to try that one. Um, we went ahead and grabbed these gluten-free noodles. Um, sometimes we do purchase these at Walmart too, but I forgot that Aldi's is a little bit bigger and about the same price. So I got those for like spaghetti or pasta. Also got these cheeses, which we like for snacks or for shredding. The blocks actually turn out better for shredded cheese um, if you want it to melt than this one, but we still use this for like tacos or whatever. So we got a little bit of both. Um, they didn't have the huge bag, so I kind of held off on that. Um, hoping to have that next time. Um, we're gonna go back here. Um, we got these for the kids to do their chocolate croissants um, that they like to make. They kind of like do their own imitation of Starbucks chocolate croissants or what have you. So they love making those. Um, also got these for their snacks. They add them to oatmeal or snack on them. <laughs> Make trail mix, all that stuff. So got some of those raisins. Also back here we have just a couple packages of these mussels. Everybody in the family likes them, I think, except one person. Um, but and of course the little one that's one. <laughs> he doesn't eat them yet. Um, but they're really good and we like to add them to meals as a side. Sometimes we'll do them more of a main dish with things, but generally just as a side. So we got a couple of those. Um, went ahead and got four or five dozen eggs. Always, always getting eggs. Till we get those chickens again, guys. <sighs> Need more layers. Um, so we did get the berries. These look so good today. The strawberries were amazing. It was like one of their specials um, that they were running. I think it's because of Valentine's Day, but they all look so, so good. So I'm excited to slice those up. Um, sometimes we do them with a little bit of stevia or we'll add them to like a little whipped cream or something. Super yummy. Um, we also got a package. I know it looks like it has spots. It was raining outside, guys, and so the condensation just built up. Um, mixed greens, really good for smoothies or salads. So we grabbed that. Um, we're going to work our way down back here. <laughs> so we got some of the bread. We're trying to do more of the sourdough. Guys, I've tried the sourdough starter. I've tried doing it on my own. I'm just not quite there yet. I'm going to test it out again because I really want to be making bread at home. Um, it's so much, so much cheaper than buying bread. This is the cheaper one that they had at Aldi. They have two different types, um, but I just want to make it at home. I do. Um, we got that 12 grain for like their sandwiches. A couple of the kids don't care for sourdough. Uh, just a couple bags of mixed vegetables. Oh, another pasta that jumped over here. Uh, three of these Parmesan and Romano cheeses. We love adding these to different things, different types of dishes. Um, so we had to get three of these because they've been actually going through it really, really fast. And this is a smaller jar. It's not, not like the family size or anything. Um, moving back down this direction so we don't get lost here. Um, ricotta cheese. We are going to be making a keto lasagna. Uh, my daughter's been asking for that. She loves lasagna. So we're going to be making that. We just need one of these, one pan of lasagna, and we're usually pretty good with how big the kids are now and how much they eat. Um, I, I foresee that changing very soon, <laughs> but for now we do that with salad and what have you, but, uh, cottage cheese. We do that as a side, some olives, Grab some avocados. They looked, let's see if you can see them. It's kind of dark down there. Uh, some avocados, they looked really, really good. Um, and these were on sale for 69 cents a piece, I think. And lately they've been like $1.05 or something. <sighs> Food costs, guys, you feel it. Um, some of the organic butter, we always get that. This time just got two. Uh, so we got these kielbasa sausages and these have, these have emerged in our house. Okay, so usually, what we would do is we would have like nuggets as a go-to meal, but now I do like, I'll do this sausage, like two of those packages and some of the noodles and cream and butter and make this like creamy faux Alfredo. It's not, I don't want to say Alfredo because it's not Alfredo. It's kind of like a bar garlic butter creamy sauce. I don't know. Uh, but with this, so good, so easy and so much cheaper than pre 
pre-done nuggets. <laughs> so we do that. Uh, two bags of these cuties are the really little ones. So they go through them really, really fast. So we got two of those. Lots of peppers today because the kids have been munching on those. As a parent, you take the vegetable they want to eat and you just go with it, okay? Just go with it. So that's what we're doing. We got three of those. Well, three, three, you know, we go through a bag at a time. Um, some frozen broccoli. This is only 89 cents a bag. They love this in like the mac and cheese with like uh, the Polish sausage stuff too. Um, yeah, so they do that with it. Uh, two things of Brussels sprouts. We all love doing this with like bacon or ham, maybe a little bit of the Parmesan cheese. And don't mind my bags, guys. I was whew, trying to get them in here. It was raining. <laughs> um, the coleslaw mix, a little bit of cilantro. I'm hoping to do some tacos here soon. So we got some of that. And it's been hard to find. It's really been a hard hard one to come by. Um, got some of these cucumbers. These are super yummy. The kids, again, love doing these with lunches. Some romaine lettuce. It all looked slightly questionable. Like there was a little bit of brown on all of them, but my husband loves these for his hot dogs, for his sandwiches and wraps. So we got those. Um, also picked up some more of this. We tried it the other day and it was pretty good. The texture obviously is different. Um, we haven't tried this one yet, so I'm excited to try this one out. It's supposed to be like the rice version. So I don't know. Let me know, guys. Have you tried this? I'm... I don't know, a little skeptical, a little skeptical, right? It's never exactly the same thing, <laughs> never. Always a little bit different. Um, so we also got some onions because we're running on those and potatoes, just the five pound bags. Um, we don't use them all the time, but we definitely need to have them because when we use them, we do go through them. And for Valentine's Day, I was gonna make a special homemade mashed potatoes that everybody loves, so, so good. Uh, got my mom a little Valentine's card because she helps me with my plants, so I wanted to give her a little thank you. They only had one left. They're so cute. Um, back here we have these. The only thing, the only thing we do with these is the keto lasagna, and it's so, so good. Even people that are not keto or don't want the, don't like the idea of low carb, they love the lasagna with this. So good. I don't, I don't know. It's just amazing. Um, I did get this to try. It looked really yummy, <laughs> so I'm gonna try that. Um, some of these cauliflower chips, we really like these. They're a little bit pricier. They're like $3 for a bag. Um, but trying to stay gluten-free, uh, my husband and I need to do that. And so these these are a really good option. Uh, my daughter has been begging for croutons. So she had croutons at my parents' house. And she thinks they're the best things ever, which is so funny because we just don't buy them. I don't know. We just don't. So anyway, she requested those. It was a whole like 89 cents. So she got her croutons. I got some pork rinds some chips, some corn chips, because we were running low. We did end up stopping by Walmart and getting three bags of other corn chips because Aldi was out of a lot of stuff this time, like a lot. So um, we got celery, bananas, always get the organic ones with um, the bananas. Certain fruits and vegetables were different. Um, avocados are a little bit different for buying organic versus not from what we've learned, so we just don't worry about that. Um, some of the peanuts for my husband for a snack the saltine crackers. The kids, again, tried those at my mom and they thought they were the best thing ever. So for crackers, that's what that's what they chose for now. Um, our go-to box of macaroni and cheese, the gluten-free ones, we just buy the whole, whole little box of it. Um, also, okay, so as a parent, like I said, when your kid's like a vegetable, you run with it, right? So the kids have been loving these seaweed snacks. They're so good for them. And Aldi happened to have them on a special buy, so we stocked up on a few of those. Um, got some hard salami. This one is one of our favorites. It's really good. There was one brand there. I don't remember what it was, but we just didn't care for it. I think it was the little ones, not those ones, but those ones we really like. Um, a couple things of lunch meat because we we're running low. Just the typical oven roasted turkey, um, an uncured ham. We try not to do the honey ham because um, it has more sugar in the lunch meat for some reason. I don't know. We did get the honey ham as a big one, um, but like I said, it tends to be the lunch meat that like has sugar added or tends to be um, higher in sugar. So we didn't do that. Um, but moving up this direction again, we got a couple things of beef. It's really, really jumped up in price. So we only did a few of those today. Um, for the pork sausages, which we do this all the time, I'm actually going to buy more sausage at some point because each breakfast is two. So that's only two breakfasts worth of sausage. Um, but Walmart has like some patties that we really like. And um, I want to pick those up sometime because that makes life a lot easier um, for when we're doing that. This is a lot for biscuits and gravy and things like that. So that's typically what we do with that. Um, but back here, went ahead and got some of these pork loins. We're going to do uh, like pork loins and mashed potatoes and green beans, I think maybe for Valentine's Day. Um, I thought about doing the ham. 
I guess it just kind of depends on what, I don't know. Might end up doing the ham, who knows? Let me know, what do you guys do for Valentine's Day? Are you eating out? Are you making something? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Um, and we got these um, chicken breasts to stock up on because usually in the freezer, I keep four of those in the freezer and then I try to have one or two in the fridge, but we're just gonna have those ones for now. But I did get one other thing, so let me show you guys. It's all the way down here, I forgot about it. <laughs> I'm super excited. So we live on a family farm, homestead, we call it a hobby farm, um, but they had these all weather mats. And guys, I'm so excited. My husband's gonna be excited. They have a huge one. And then they have this smaller one, if you can see them. I know the lighting's kind of funny, I'm so sorry. But they're super thick and the texture, they got them on a special buy there. And I've been looking for something that wasn't crazy expensive. And this huge one was 15 and this smaller one was only like $6. So I'm so, so excited to show them these. Um, they're gonna be really good because I threw away our other rug prematurely and then um, we didn't have one and so we've been using like a towel. So anyway, that's what we got for those. 